all right so we can do this for i equal to one i equal to two etc all the way to i equal to m minus one right so we get m minus one equations we still need one more equation right because we have n unknowns how do we deal with the last equation just use forward difference on where on um, either the first or the last point or do midpoint but wrap it around the, to the beginning I guess that depends on how you what on what system you're trying to model that's an acceptable assumption right okay so now we get to a point where the discretization the conversion from the ODE to an approx uh, from a PD to an approximate <coughs> ODE actually depends on the boundary condition of the PD so this is a very important message because without knowing the boundary condition you actually have no way to discretize the PDE into a solvable set of ODEs right you always are missing equations if you don't have boundary conditions so you actually need the complete PDE plus the boundary conditions in order to even get to a solvable state so here the boundary condition is known to be periodic and what does periodic really mean it means that not only the u0 coincides with un whenever you say a periodic boundary condition it actually means like the solution is periodic it is as if i have a infinitely long x but the constraint is it's such that okay so here i actually draw something not completely right so here if the solution is truly periodic i couldn't have something like this i have to have a solution that that is the same shape same derivative same second ah same second derivative and etc right so so basically i have an infinite duplication of the same function through space all right so that means when I want the derivative at this point I can simply follow the suggestion who gave the suggestion of wrapping it around yeah we can follow the suggestion of wrapping it around so basically we have the special uh, point to be which one ends up being zero I have right let me let me write it down so at u zero what i'm what i get is u i minus one i plus one which is one then minus u i minus one which is u minus one but what is u minus one what is the point to the left of u zero it's actually the same as this point right so this is a minus one divided by two delta x approximately equal to zero all right does that answer your question this is the periodic point right so this point is the same as this point if i look to the left of this point i get the same value as u n minus one yeah oh actually no that's not the case what, oh, so be right so the periodicity is actually from zero to n because uh, we're saying we have a periodic boundary condition uh, so the 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 domain is periodic in zero and one and x zero is exactly zero x n is exactly one right so basically you are carrying this out of the space over all right okay now we have n equations right n unknowns we can solve it but not in the traditional sense of uh, of having n equations algebraically and n unknowns algebraically we have n equations but each equation is an ordinary differential equation we have n unknowns but each unknown is actually a function of time so we have to solve this equation not using 
a matrix form or even Newton's iteration, we have to solve this equation using an ODE solver, right? Okay, so let's do it.